So you remember the deadlift cube we went over last week? We're gonna work on that again today. Before we start, do you have any questions? No, I'm good, coach, I got it. Nice and simple, just pull out the slack. The slack. The slack. The slack. What the fuck? <laughs> Did I do it, coach? Did great, buddy. If I had a dollar for every time someone blankly stared into my soul when I first explained what the slack was. Pulling the slack out simply refers to pulling tension out of the barbell before it ever leaves the ground. No, before it ever leaves the ground. As with many cues, it's actually really, really easy, and this usually just comes down to a miscommunication between what the coach wants their athlete to do and what the athlete thinks their coach wants them to do. We're doing this for two reasons. One, this is going to ensure that we have a nice smooth pull off the floor. If all the tension is pulled out of the bar, it's going to come up from the floor nice and smooth. You're not gonna hit a weird sticking point and then the bar is gonna move. It's gonna come up all in one motion. And number two, pulling the slack out also ensures that all of our energy actually goes into pulling the bar up. If you haven't pulled tension out of the bar, your initial pull energy is going to go into pulling the tension out and then the bar is going to leave the ground. Whereas if you had already pulled all that tension, all of your pull is going to go into the bar leaving the ground. This cue is especially helpful for those of you that tend to jerk the bar up off of the ground pulling that tension out and then pulling up for a nice smooth pull will tend to help your balance and overall improve your deadlift. The only variables you'll have to worry about with pulling the slack out is the more weight you load onto a barbell, the more slack you'll have to pull out until all the tension is pulled out. And also you wanna pay attention to the barbell that you are using. If you're using a stiff power bar, there's not gonna be as much to slack to pull out as if you were using a deadlift bar where there's going to be a ton of slack to pull out before all the tension is pulled. Only other thing you'll need to worry about is to make sure that when you are pulling the slack out, you don't actually pull yourself out of position. So when people's first time pulling the slack out, they will tend to drop their hip position. So just watch out for that. Make sure you maintain your proper positioning while you're pulling all that tension out, then go for your deadlift. That's all for the deadlift cue, pulling the slack out. We're just trying to make sure this is a nice balanced lift and that all of your energy is actually going into pulling the bar up and that's not getting dissipated into that bar if the tension isn't pulled out. Pulling the slack out really is that simple. Once you know what your coach wants you to do, it is very easy to pull off. Make sure you're doing it for all of your deadlifts. Hope you guys enjoyed the content and hope to see y'all in a future video.